Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am here in El Salvador and I thought I would make a video in English today just to tell like some of my family and friends and whoever else wants to watch how great it is here and how much I recommend visiting this country or really the, all the places I've been, Mexico, El Salvador, Costa Rica, Puerto Rico, all wonderful places to visit. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and leave me a comment of what you think of this video. I'm gonna tell you everything I'm gonna do here today and um, everything I like about this country. Rocky and I are out here on the patio and this is a mango tree. So one of my favorite things is that there's fruit trees everywhere. You can get mangoes, limes, avocados, all kinds of fruit just right in the yards of the folks here because they grow everywhere in this very tropical climate. El Salvador used to be a very dangerous country, but the last few years they've had a new president. And I don't even know how he's done it, but he has changed the entire nation. It is now one of the safest places to visit. It, he's putting in new infrastructure, new schools, new hospitals, a giant new prison where he put all of the gang members, anybody that was associated with those gangs, he put them in jail. That's why it's so safe now. Built a huge prison and a big like uh, renovation on the airport. So right now I'm gonna show you a clip of when I got in the airport, when I first arrived in El Salvador and I thought, wow, this place is nice. It's a super modern look when you get into the airport. At this point, I was already standing outside feeling the heat. It is hot this time of year, but it's amazing to go to the beach and all those fun things. Go to the Lake of Cuatapeque, swim, rent a jet ski, anything you want there's so many things to do but look the new airport it really does look super nice they've got the blue and white kind of theme because that's the colors of the country on their flag it says welcome to el salvador lets you know some destinations um just like any other airport it's got like stores but if you got to pay like 12 dollars if you're not from there show them your passport it's a super easy process they just ask you where you're going to be staying mostly and if you're just there for tourism so that's all you gotta do and then they let you come on in and you can start your adventure like most countries in latin america well all countries in latin america el salvador has amazing food you'll want to try anything and everything just be prepared in case you get a little um upset stomach due to not being used to the food do not drink the water just don't but the food you need to try it just bring some pepto-bismol in case you have a little upset stomach but i'm telling you you gotta try the pupusas that's their national food it's like a little corn tortilla uh fried filled with all kinds of different stuff like beans or uh chicken or pork or cheese all kinds of things like that there's street food everywhere it's not like here where you have to go to like a restaurant. Everywhere is like everybody's house or every little corner store has a little store. Like, I don't know how to explain it. You just have to go there. It's a different world and try the food. Right here, I was staying in the district of Santa Ana in a town called the Congo. And I was at a super regular restaurant. Like this is actually a legit restaurant. Like I said, you can also just get food on the corner store or a street food, but this was a real restaurant, like a whole plate of steak. I got for like, I don't know, $9, and that's pretty expensive for there, because if you're getting street food, things are just a couple dollars. But There's so much like typical food, you gotta try the beans and cheese, like the salsa, the curtido, which you put on the pupusas or eat with the steak, is like cabbage, pickled cabbage basically, sounds weird, but it's so good. Everything is so unique, it's so good. All these different countries have their different little things, uh, food on the grill, just natural like animals that are grown right around there and then then we're heading on into Santa Ana and as you can see a super modern city same with the capital super modern it's just when you're in the little towns that it's more uh, of a big change from what you're used to in the United States but at this spot I was showing you some of the street food where you can just go walk up and they'll they're preparing it right there in front of you um, yucca it's a um, vegetable i think and it's deep fried and they make it different ways you just got to try everything everything is so good and i it was so funny because i actually saw 
two other people that appeared to be from out of the country like they're obviously travelers and i didn't have the balls to ask them where they're from but i regret it to this day like where were they from i should have asked them but anyways street food definitely gotta try it On my third day there, we had like a uh, event in the town I was staying at. I was staying at a town in the district of Santa Ana that's called the Congo, El Congo. And um, they had a soccer game. Was just soccer is really important to them. Uh, you'll see kids playing soccer. There's um, several different teams. It's just one of the main pastimes spending time with family, going out and having drinks and soccer. Super, super big there. So it's just a lot of different, of course, dance, music. It's just culture so much uh, different than here. In the United States, everything's kinda, kinda vanilla. <laughs> but in El Salvador and most other countries in Latin America, it's like, wah. Everything, every day we celebrate in something. <laughs> And a little piece of advice, um, if you're a guy, don't talk to the women. If you're a girl, don't don't talk to the guys because you're going to end up falling in love with someone. They're so charming. Everybody is like, there's a bunch of, a lot of the guys are into soccer. A lot of the girls are into the gym. Um, they all know how to dance. They are friendly and just, just charming. <laughs> like, just, just don't do it. You're going to fall in love with someone. I'm mostly kidding, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not kidding. And uh, speaking of wah, I went to a club in the district of Santa Ana, and it was insane. It was so fun. It was way funner than any club I've ever been to in the United States. I've only been to like three, <laughs> and they've all been in Columbus, so I can't really say anything. But I think it was really fun. I felt like I was in a movie. I always feel like I'm in a movie. I always act like I'm in a movie in my own head. It makes life funner. But... This party was crazy. We had a great time. For one, it was a huge club and there was a ton of people. We were on the second floor. There's two floors to this club. And this guy came up and started throwing around some, juggling some flame torches. And then he handed it to me. I'm telling you, I was, I was having a moment. It was a great time. And I was dancing. And I can't dance. I can only dance when I'm drunk. Because then I don't care that I can't dance. And I don't care what people think anymore. But it sucks not having any rhythm because down there everybody's been dancing since they were like in their mom's womb but giving a fuck what other people think is one of the worst things you can do in your whole entire life because you're gonna look back and you're gonna think i was only 24 i was cute I, it don't matter that i'm not the best dancer i'm out here having a good time people are probably glad to see it that's if they even pay a bit of attention because most people are in their own world and then, of course, I'm not doing El Salvador any freaking justice if I don't mention the beach. Hello! The beaches are so fun. The waves are a little extreme. That's why it's a really popular, like, destination for surfers from all around the world. But you can go to some areas where it's real chill. The water is warm. You're never going to stick a foot in that water and it be chilly. It is warm ocean water. The sand is dark, 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 almost black because of how many volcanic rocks, like, the dark, like, minerals that are around the area i think it's absolutely beautiful no marina no say as i see marina attacked in but like i'm saying beautiful beaches oh my gosh you can go to the beach and they're just food music drinks uh anything the beaches and the volcanoes i've also hiked a volcano there and that was a very awesome experience if you love hiking plenty of hiking destinations and plenty of beach destinations I'd never rode a horse on the beach before, so for $3 you could hop on these little ponies and ride them on the beach, so I did it. This place was called Mahawal, but when I there's so many beaches. This one was really nice. There was plenty of people, uh, there was plenty of restaurants, places to chill. Loved it. And like I said, nice warm water, and the waves were chill here, so it was gorgeous. Aquí hay muchos restaurantes, mira, y la gente anda vendiendo cosas. También estos caballitos se cobra mostrarlo. Dale, pues.
So as you can see, we were eating some fried fish, listening to some live music. You just give them a tip and they play you some music. It was so neat. And then we went and got a snack. It's like a little frozen snack. I just got with little like chips on it. There's just so many different little unique snacks you should try. The girls were telling us that they stand out on the beach every day, day after day, all day, selling these treats and uh, that's their livelihood. So, um, and I don't know if I already mentioned the fruit you just got to try all these different fruits because they're like everybody eats a ton of fruit. It's really neat. And they're just growing on the trees all, o all over the place. I love it. And uh, all the different seasoning is little snacks. Uh, these little chips that I love to eat with uh, lime juice on top and spicy sauce. So good. Say come to. Say come. Ah, it's good. And the next day we were back in the Congo and they are celebrating the town. It was like their fair week, basically. I guess you could compare it to the county fair <laughs> or the state fair, or whatever. But they're um, having a little event where the boys had to try to climb up this pole that had butter all over it. And if they could get the little hat off the top, they got to split $150. <laughs> I thought it was so funny. Hola. <laughs> Hola. Buenas. Me regalo un agua, por favor. Delito. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ¿Cuánto es? 65. <laughs> So I thought I'd include that little clip of me buying the water for 65 cents because I haven't really mentioned that everything is extremely, extremely affordable. Like, not, not gas though. Gas is pretty expensive. I don't know why. But going and getting little snacks and stuff, you could go buy some mangoes, super good little snack, or some chips, or just go get a hamburger for like a dollar or less. Here, we drove along the countryside and went and got some soup. And all this for like six people, and I don't think it was more than like $20. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I think it was more than that. But because it was soup and a plate of chicken that we all shared, and you could put in the soup and also some soda. So it was not super cheap, but also way different than like going out to eat in the United States. And you can also get on these buses and take them to different cities. Like you could stay in a hotel and grab a bus or you could rent a car. I think it's pretty safe, like, it's really safe, actually, to just go drive around the entire country, go to different sites, and just try the food and hang out. I'm back in the United States now, by the way, but I just wanted to add in a little um, comment. Most of a lot of El Salvador is very urban. There's big cities, there's the capital city, that's the big city, and then there's cities like Santa Ana, but then a lot of it is towns like the Congo where I was staying. And um, I just wanted to prepare you for the fact that like, if you're gonna stay in a town, um, it's a very different, like, there's not gonna be hot water, probably, unless you're staying at a hotel. But like where I was at, staying with a family, it is a whole, whole deal where it's like, whoa, <laughs> this is not how we do things back home. But a lot of it is also very rural. Like, what I'm about to show you is some of the beautiful countryside of just cornfields and volcanoes in the background. I can't stress to you enough. Very beautiful. Same with when you go to Mexico. You will just be wowed by the difference of city life versus in a town versus then the country. How people live out in the country sometimes. And just the beautiful landscapes. Unbelievable. <laughs> And like I was saying, they're so they're celebrating everything. This is a little mini parade that went through the main town. Um, just it's just neat. Like, of course, our hometowns we have county fairs, we have parades, uh, and it's the same thing. It's just like the way the things that get people together out and gathered and everything it's just neat to see how other countries do that <laughs> 
No lo ha contado. No. And this is one of the examples of the little businesses that people just have out off their house. Like they live right by beside it, and they've just got this little pupuseria, which is where they're just selling some pupusas. You can go get them for just <laughs> literally. Like you can get like 20 of them for like three dollars, but they're so good. The pupusas, Hola. definitely gotta try those. And another one of the really popular little foods that you can get for like a dollar or less is it's kind of like a hot dog, it's just a little hot dog bun, but it's got different kind of meats on it and mayonnaise, uh, onions. You can add hot sauce. And um, they were eating shrimp cocktails. If you love seafood, I forgot to mention seafood because I don't like seafood, but if you love seafood, oh my gosh. It, it looks good, and that's coming from someone that has never tried it and refuses, sorry, to seafood lovers. I just can't, but they say it's amazing. So I was eating a little uh, bread, meat bread thingy, and they were having shells like oysters and uh, uh, shrimp cocktails and things like that and some beer and then we got to walk around in this little market because we were in the market of Santa Ana and they're just little... Um, places where they've got their little stand and they're selling different things like one stand might have makeup jewelry um little you know purses shoes things like that it's just like i said like i keep saying whole different world but it's kind of similar like if you go to new york and you walk along the little shops it's just different States. They don't have states here, but like districts that's called Santa Ana and it's very cool They were telling me that there's some hotels here that are like eight dollars a night There's markets everywhere same as the other town where I'm actually staying at you can get uh, You know food for like five dollars or you know everything's extremely affordable, but super good It's like old style buildings you see All kinds of little businesses going on and the best for last i love this lake this is actually a caldera so it was a volcano back in the day and now it's just a giant lake which is a beautiful and very famous lake of el salvador and i have swam in it now like three times and i really enjoy it it's very deep you can rent jet skis you can see a feller down there running around on his jet ski. Here we are at a Mirador, which is a restaurant overlooking the lake, so it's a little higher prices, but definitely worth it to try some of the food. Right here, have some drinks and look out at the lake, and then maybe go down and swim off a dock, rent your jet ski. The food, like always, super good. We watched the nightfall at this restaurant and then we took off and went to a party right in the street in the congo and man the music was loud but i had a great time
Somos unos grandes borrachos. ¡Vamos! I went during a time when they were really celebrating because it was like the town's little um, celebration of the town week. So there were dances in the street every single day. There was, you know, so much music. It was a great time. But it's pretty much like that all the time. The people um, are very humble and they are friendly and they like to see that you're enjoying the country. I feel like they're very, very welcoming. The police and soldiers can be where it's one of those things where you want to be friends with them and uh you know be be pleasant and uh you know just <laughs> grateful to be there kind of mix yourself in and enjoy the culture the best thing i can say is that the people are humble kind and welcoming and the country is absolutely beautiful there's so much to do I definitely recommend. I had a great time and I'm grateful for the opportunity to go to these countries. And like I said, I wanted to tell my English speaking friends and family about this because some people are afraid to go do those types of adventures, but it will change your life. It will change your perspective on life. I'm telling you, you will be so, you, but the you before you go to Latin America and the you after you've been totally different people. You just have a different view on life. <laughs> so. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you want to see more videos in English. Uh, I try to post on YouTube plenty, but I suck. I mostly have been posting on Facebook and TikTok and Instagram. But of course, I still adore YouTube. It's just so much more time consuming to make the long videos. I know, I'm a lazy ass. But thanks again for watching. I will get going. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Bye.